What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing well, rocking, having a good time. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll zoom in and, and break this intro down, the chords, and that awesome, bluesy, psychedelic opening line. Uh, also, I have some bonus blues licks that are not on YouTube. Got a link down there for it, plus the social media stuff. I appreciate all that support. Um, and enough of that. Let's just zoom in. We'll break this one down right now. Here we go. All right, so we tune our guitar down a half step, but I'm the, just the way I refer to the notes and stuff is as if it was in standard tuning, but we got to tune down to E flat, and then let's go. All right, so it's C sharp minor is kind of the key of the song. So that root is on the uh, ninth fret of the E string. So you've got a minor chord there, and then you also have the minor pentatonic there, with that root on the ninth fret of the E. Okay? But that also means we're going to be using the extension of that scale, which slides up from the 11 up to the 13 on the G string, and then 12 on the B, 14. unlock the key. Now here's a cool thing to think about is easy way to think about that opening chord sequence is that it's made up of uh, you know the C sharp minor bar chord, the B major bar chord so that middle fingers down and the A major bar chord. And the way to think about it is the B chord, the middle chord between them, is always twice, and the other ones are four. So watch. Good way to think about that. Now, let's learn that opening line. That's what we start with. And we're sliding from some spot. <laughs> I mean, it could be a whole step down, whatever. We're sliding, though, into the 13th fret of the G string with our middle finger. Oops, 13th fret, got a little excited there. Okay, yeah. Then 12, 14 on the B. But we're bending that immediately. to try and give a vibrato at the top of that bend. Okay. Okay, we let the bend come back down natural. We hear that note natural. Then we release to the index finger. And that's the twelfth of the B, so watch. Okay. Then we need 
which is uh, the 13 of the G, that transition note, 13 to the 11 on the G. Now you could slide it like that, check it out. Bump. I like to go, so I'm just bending up to that note with my index finger right there on the 11th of the G. So watch all that together. So it's like, ba, 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 ba. Time slow. Now the ring finger is going to transition into our home row pentatonic ring finger on the 11th of the D, it's the root. Now up the pentatonic, so 11, 9, 11 on the G. Then we're gonna bend up, down, up. So it would sound like this. Slow. So we're letting that bend come down natural, kind of like we did on the B string earlier. And then I'm releasing to my index finger, which is on the ninth of the G. Then ring finger on the 11 of the D string, which is the root. From here, we transition over to the B string, 12th fret B string, 9th fret B string with the index finger, and we're going to hammer on pull off on that 12, just like that. And then we're going to the 11 of the G. Like that. Then we're transitioning over to that final bend, which is the 12th of the B. That was the lesson. Hope you uh, enjoyed yourself. Remember, I've got bonus blues licks for you in that link down there. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you real soon. Take care.